In this video, we introduced the three immersive network exploration interfaces that we compared in our study, as well as the tasks that the participants had to carry out. First, some context. These are the three large networks that each participant explored, here viewed from an overview perspective. In the overview, we can identify clusters and hub nodes, but the size and topology of the graph makes it difficult to explore local neighborhoods and paths within the network. The focus of our study was to investigate trade-offs between immersive interfaces for conducting topological network analysis tasks. We designed and implemented three interfaces. The first interface acts as our baseline and allows users to freely fly around the network with six degrees of freedom. The speed is kept slow to reduce cyber sickness during navigation. The navigation axis is always oriented on the user's viewing direction. With a laser pointer that is cast from the controller, nodes and their direct neighbors can be highlighted. The second interface, Ego Highlight, trades free flying for teleportation. Users can jump from node to node by highlighting a node with the laser pointer and selecting it with the trigger button. This triggers an automatic animated transition of the user towards and finally into the position of the selected node. Since the user is always positioned directly within a node, we can optimize the representation by removing incoming and outgoing edges of the user-centered node. To immediately detect neighboring nodes, we indicate them with a halo. As we can see, due to the force-based layout, some direct neighbors might be positioned far away from the current node or even be occluded by other parts of the network. To further improve the exploration of local neighborhoods, the third interface, EgoBubble, pulls and pushes direct neighbor nodes to a bounding sphere that surrounds the user. To further declutter the view, also edges that cross the bounding sphere are clipped. This ensures that all neighbors are visible while having a uniform distance to the user. We will now go through the tasks in the same order as presented to participants of our study. Here for the Ego Bubble interface. First, Users have to complete a set of tutorial tasks in a small network to familiarize themselves with the visual interface, the controls, and the sort of tasks that they can expect in the remainder of the study. As soon as users are comfortable with the controls and the condition, a series of tasks has to be completed, first on a smaller network and then on a larger one. The smaller network was used for training and we analyzed the results taken from the session in the larger graph. The first task asks the user to locate a specific direct neighbor node. We measure the completion time. The label of the node is always visible on the controller. Selection of a node is carried out with the controller as well. The next task requires users to find common neighbors between two given nodes. Users had to select and mark all target nodes with the controller. We measure completion time and correctness. In this task, users had to estimate the number of direct neighbors of a given node and then verbally report their estimation to the study conductor. In the next sequence of tasks, the start and end node of a path are given. After users immerse into the start node, they have to estimate the direction to the end node to measure spatial orientation when immersing into the network. Angle deviation is measured. The end node is now visible again and the user has to verbally report the nodes along the shortest path to it. Here the user is querying the nodes with the laser pointer to find a suitable path to the end node. Completion time and correctness of the path are measured. For the final set of tasks, users are given a sequence of nodes, highlighted in red. Selecting a node reveals the next node in the sequence.
At the end of the sequence, the direction to the first node has to be estimated in order to measure spatial orientation when traversing the network. We thereby evaluate the angle deviation. After this, users are teleported to their initial overview perspective from where they have to estimate the direction to the final node of the sequence in order to measure spatial orientation after leaving the immersive perspective. We conclude this video by showcasing the find common neighbors task in all conditions on the same network. During the actual study, users were working on a different graph for each interface condition. The order of appearance was balanced between participants.